So the Apple Watch has been out for about two weeks now and people still don't really know what to make of this little device and neither do I to be totally honest. Do you need it? Do you want it? What can you do on it? Today I'm going to answer that by showing you the top five games that you can get for this device at a cost. So the first game is Rules, or Rules exclamation mark. Not sure whether you're meant to shout it because it's so exciting. Uh, this is kind of a cute little puzzle game, and it's actually one of the better games on the Apple Watch. It was one of the first games I downloaded and played, mainly because the logo has that cute little blue robot. Uh, so this kind of utilizes only about four squares on the screen. I've never had it where it's been harder than that. And you just have to do a few simple mind puzzles challenges just to keep your memory going, uh, to keep you up to speed. It's quite good fun again it's hard to kind of use it the screen is quite small but as a little challenge game goes this is pretty good here we have Trivia Crack. Now, this was definitely one of the most popular games on the iPhone last year, and this has now been brought forward to work on the Apple Watch. It works pretty well. You've got the same kind of colors, the same logos, the spinning wheel, and you still get the questions. It can sometimes be a little bit hard to scroll up the answers, and sometimes you might misclick uh, and accidentally click on an answer when you're trying to scroll. But overall, it works really well. The question's clear to see, uh, and the answers are also clear as well. And you can also challenge anybody on there as long as you've got a challenge to do, you can play the game. You can't start new games from the watch, though, I found, uh, which is a little bit of a shame. So you do have to use your iPhone to get started on it. But overall, this was definitely the smoothest experience I've had and probably one of the most natural that I'll carry on playing on my watch. Mini Owl is a game that I thought I would absolutely love. It's a very simple picture making game where you slide the little blocks to make a picture of an owl. And the owls are very cute, but I have had a few issues with it. Uh, the sliding on it seems to work fine on some levels and on other levels. For the life of me, I just can't slide the photos around. If they fix this, this would definitely be one of the best games on the Apple Watch. But with this not working fully for me, as you can see at the moment, it's a real pain to use and something I'm not going to go back to. But I imagine they're going to make loads of variations of this games with different photos and different style blocks. Our fourth game is Spy underscore Watch. This is actually a pretty cool concept game, and there's two of these uh, that are featured in this top five. This is probably the weakest of the two. You play as a uh, spy who's trying to figure out more about the agency, and what it does is it sends you notifications and gives you a little bit of a message, and you can reply back to it uh, with usually two options. Uh, sometimes you can get a bit cheeky, and it's quite fun. Now, this game, you don't just carry on with the story. It might stop for a few hours, and then it will send you another message, and you'll figure it out. It kind of works its way into your daily routine and as soon as the notifications come you answer it and find out a little bit more very intriguing but to be honest once you've played an hour or so very very boring and coming in at number five is Lifeline dot dot dot. This is another game just like Spy Watch, uh, where you are using text to figure out a story as to why somebody is contacting you. Why are they stuck? How can you help them? Uh, again, this is quite good fun. It's a little bit boring after a while if you play it for a long period of time. But over the day, if you keep on coming back to it, sending messages back and forth, and you reveal a huge story uh, about this person. It's really cool. I don't want to ruin it for you. But again, it's another text game, and there's not really much graphics. It's not going to make you entertain for that long you will lose interest so the answer is no this little device isn't really good for gaming as we would expect it's awkward it's not fun the graphics there's nothing there really to look at it's just a bit of a pain to game with this device so if you think you're getting one of these for gaming look somewhere else